I'm Zoe Sheridan and on the couch I have the infamous and most fabulous Lynn McGranger who plays Irene on Home and Away amongst many other things but that's your most well-known character because it's been over 10 years. It's been 17, darling. 17 yeah, years yeah. My daughter never was, been kissed. Uh, well, <laughs> never been married. We really? all end up dead or in jail, but I don't want to talk about it. No. Well, you must be a really well-loved character that you're still on the show and they uh, haven't written you out because you have a daughter who's 19. Yeah, yes. So she wants to follow in your footsteps. Yes, I tried to beat it out of her. Really? Yeah. I, well, oh. do, I mean, because I guess they maybe... Well, why? Well, tell me okay. why. Why would you try and beat it out of her? Because you seem really happy and that you really enjoy it. I am very it. happy, but it's, um, I'm the exception rather than the rule, you know. Because you're you, working. She knows that. And I've always said to her, I've always said, you know that what mum does, even as a kid, you mm. know, if you get any ideas, just remember what mum does is bizarre. It's like, it's akin to winning the lottery. Yes. It doesn't happen to most people. We'll see. Look, I went to teacher's college, ended up an actor. She's going to acting college, she could end up a butcher. Who knows, you know. <laughs> we'll just take it as it comes. Oh, you have nice off-cuts We'll have meat. lovely yeah, meat, darling. beautiful. <laughs> What's your relationship like? Are you really, really close? Being an only child, she's always been quite independent, I'd have mm. to say. We haven't molly her. Um, but we are, she tells me most things. Sometimes it's like, a bit too much information there, don't <laughs> yeah. She's great. I love yeah. her to death and we get on great. So in answer to your question, I would say, yeah, yeah, we are really close. We both kind of love our sport too. Yeah. Although I'm, these days I'm a bit of a lounge lizard You're pretty sport. fit. Oh, look, I am pretty fit, but that's... You a look kind of, good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Not bad for an old bird. I think that's rubbed off on her. Mm. Mercifully, she, what hasn't rubbed off on her is this kind of stick figure thing that we are, are subject to in magazines yeah. and from a very early age I've, mm. we've always gone that is just so ridiculous mm. that is so not real it's not attractive to oh, men at all and it seems to be uh, women trying to impress other women I don't know what you think but about then are that you imp uh, look I totally agree with you and I also well, think would say I as a woman and you're probably the same if a stick thin woman or man for that matter walks past you I just want to grab him and feed him <laughs> you know what I mean you just want to go for God's yeah. sake go eat a steak and some vegetables I did kind of see young girls I know like say for example my daughter who's 10 are already becoming really body conscious now when I was 10 years old I had the arch back and the stick out bum and the stick out stomach no idea. Yeah. Didn't even, I wouldn't have even thought about no. whether I was too big or too but small. You, you know why? It's because we weren't subject to it. I mean, when I was 10, you know, the sort of the missile boobies were in. <laughs> you lived to have a, a waist, waist that was this big and, and bottom that was this big and, and boobies for days. Um, <laughs> but, you know, what happened? What happened that we went, well, this is no longer healthy? I mean, it's a whole, it's a really long issue, but the you are a great, so yeah. well, what we My need to do, my daughter doesn't have that, so. Tell me how you, as a mother, have encouraged her to be healthy and have a great body image. I have, we have always told her that she looks amazing. And she's beautiful. And she's beautiful. And I think if we can get that message to girls that, you know, you are beautiful no matter what. And really, at the end of the day, I know it sounds cliched, but it's what is inside it's that true. makes people like you. Yeah, and it's your energy and your confidence oh, and your spark. And your love of, of humanity. Your joie de vivre. Your joie de vivre, darling. Uh, merci, you said it so more beautifully <laughs> than me. Thank you oh, my so pleasure, very love. much. It was lovely to my meet pleasure, you. My pleasure, darling. Thanks for coming you and too. having Mwah. a chat on the couch. And oh, I can't wait to, to meet you. Thank can't you. wait to meet you again. Oh, bless yourself. Thank, Thank you, you, darling.